before this video starts, I would like to say that um, if you guys do have any questions, we do have a personal Discord that we made. For any questions, feel free to join that. We do have our own custom server out there. Um, if you're willing to play, the link's also in the description below. Come join the community and have some fun. What's going on, guys? Streamer FPS here, back with another video. And in today's tutorial, we'll be diving into world of 5M natives, understanding what they are and you know, why they're essential for developers and for, well, for 5M. And we're also going to set up and explore XAMPP, which we should have explained in the first video, but we'll explain it in this video. And we're also going to explain Heidi SQL, which are important tools for managing your server's data space. So, um, First thing we're going to go over is your 5M natives. So if you go in the description below, um, open up the link for your 5M natives, it will bring you to this page right here. And uh, so just a quick rundown of what natives are. Uh, natives are basically, they're built-in functions provided by 5M that allow you to interact with the game engine and server in powerful ways. So which means that They'll let you control like gameplay elements, uh, like do stuff in the game world, spawn objects, modifying environments. You could control people's like health, their vehicles, their animations. Um, they're basically tools in your toolbox for creating and customizing all the sources, all your resources. Everything that is being called in these. This is where you get these. And some example um, of some stuff that is like really important is first thing we can go over is the set entity health. So if you search set entity health here. And what this does is um, this native allows you to set the health of an entity like a player or a vehicle so if we read here uh these are your two parameters your entity and your health the entity handle and then the health we should send the entity to right um so when setting health for a player pad the game will clamp the health value to ensure it does not exceed the maximum health this maximum health can be retrieved by calling max health, also modified by set pet. When setting the health for non-player pets or entities, the maximum health will be increased if the new health value exceeds the current maximum. Default health for male pets is 200. For females, it is 175. So, this is just setting your entity health for anything that you have. Next thing is, is uh, the trigger client event. And the trigger client event allows you to send messages or trigger an action on a client from the server. So, um, yeah, it's trigger client event. It's basically, it's word, what its name is. And then the next thing we could do is add text entry. Which this does is it lets you customize HUD elements with your own text. So if you wanted to example, um, put a text in front of just an example, if you wanted to put in a text in front of Legion Square saying Legion Square and you, you can see it, that's what this does. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our exam. So we go to exam. So in the description below, you can go to the link. So most people probably already have this because you need it for your episode one. Um, so I'm just going to explain what XAMPP is. It's free. Um, it's easy to use software package that allows you to run local web servers and a database server on your computer. It's usually good for like testing and development. Um, so we'll download it here. Download it. 
download the latest version. So install it. Next. Install it where you want. I'm going to do my D drive. So the folder has to be empty, by the way, for you to do this. There we go. So now it's installing. So then after the after you are done, you can keep this checked and click finish. And then when you come in here, what I want you to do is start all three of these. All three of these have to be started for your server to work. Um, so for MySQL, what you also can do is you can, you can click admin and once you click admin, um, you can also control your databases from here as well, but um, I will show you another way that you can do it as well. What we're going an easier, what I think is better, is Heidi SQL. So what you should do, go over to Heidi SQL that is in the link below, and it will bring you to here and go to downloads and then the top one over here up here then once this opens to all users and then do accept Press next, install it wherever you want. Again, I'm gonna do it my own D drive. Press yes, and press next. And what I like to do is I like to, if you don't want a desktop icon, uncheck desktop icon, but keep everything else. And then install, then let it do its thing, finish. Okay, so after you download Heidi SQL, it'll come up like this. Um, for some people, if you open this, the, your QB core will be already here. So if you didn't change, so if you go into your server.cfg, and if you didn't change this, you kept the QB core, and whatever this name is, if it's already in here, don't touch it. But if, if it's like mine, you're gonna have to create a new database name it whatever you want so I'm gonna name it whatever I put this but this name has to be the same name as this right here beside where I'm highlighting right now so then if you open this you'll have nothing right so in the description below there will be an SQL file download it and after you download it you have it right here you're going to click your test you are going to come up to file. You are going to run your SQL file. You're going to find your QB core, run it, press yes. After that, that will import everything that you need for your server, for your database. You should get no errors because there's nothing in it. If you get errors, that means there's probably something in it. So then if you right click here and press refresh, everything will be here. All right. Next thing you want to do, load up your server. Go 
when you load up your server fully, exit it out, and open it up again. And what this does, it saves database for your players, whatever you have. So we'll just we'll give you an example when we fly in. Um, this saves data for you. So like if you restart your server, all your data will save in this. This makes it where. Um, if you restart your server, it's still here. And Heidi SQL also helps with, um, it is also really user friendly and it makes it, Heidi SQL also makes it where you don't have to go into your XAMPP Heidi, I mean your XAMPP database. So then you don't have to work directly inside your PHP. And then everything should be good. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, next video, we should be getting into like the actual code and editing stuff and replacing stuff on our server. And making stuff look more cleaner for you guys. Other than that, um, I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.